Do you think wars just when men with guns go away? What about people fighting every day? What about the prices citizens have to pay? Fight foe, fight family. Did you think it was just happening when a man fights another man just as bad as him? If you did, you've been horribly deluded. Did the TV tell you? And if it did, you're stupid. The war's everywhere, within and outside you. And still you manage to let the screen blind you. Think that one day it won't seek to find you. You can try to avoid, but it's never too far behind you. Attention, attention, all I ever hated. Attention seekers are like dropping IRA bombs into a conversation just to get a reaction. Making it irresponsible and destructible. Screaming, shouting, screeching, popping my eardrops. I can't take it anymore. The pain, the torture is the devil inside. He's like a ghost rider charging his Mr. Horse over the horizon. Deterioration, but thinking he's the best. I feel like a soldier trapped in a trench where there's no way out. Voices, words making me deteriorate. Dreading, I hear voices, ragged voices telling me to stop trying. He is deaf to silence. He is fire to a masterpiece. He ruins silence like it's his destiny. He transforms into something out of this world. Standing stalking, I feel alone. All I hear is people dying. Silence is unbearable. Death. Silence is unbearable. Um, Souls are flying like birds migrating. Death is impatient, but tell me what you think. What's the meaning of war? You fight and there's no more. At the end, the country is poor. For example, Somalia, scarred for life for at least generations. I'm here, kicking back, relaxed, while all my people suffer violation and exploitation. And a nation is decaying like plaque. All I hear is people dying, and that's just that. I really start pain in a minute. Yeah, heaven is a competition, and we're trying to win it. I still think we choose me hell. Friend circle so small, I want 2G's Gucci doll. <coughs> Friends, I first act like an angel. Word to the English show that you're able. I got some of my life, I learned like knots on a cable. I'm trying to live a fairy tale, not live a fable. Look, you know when I'm a radius. Some don't, be, some don't be even life, some feel like an atheist. Look, to me, a war zone, to me, life is dangerous. <laughs> As I'm trying to make this rhyme, bombs are going off in my head. I don't want to write this. These words coming out in, coming out of my mouth like a pack of wolves sprinting to the end of my tongue, ready to pounce on its prey. I'm its prey, the prey are silent, but really it's a game, a waiting game, like soldiers that wait, wait for the bombs to go off, for the enemy to strike. War is a cold blooded killing machine, just like my brain killing off this rhyme. <laughs> He hits me, fights me, everything about me is wrong. When he walks in beating your mum and he just tells you to run along. Everything about this is wrong. I bleed black streak of blood. I just wish puppies would grow. He claims I have no hobbies but to only sit in his hell hole. He stares deep into my soul, waiting for the answer. Bang! This must be karma that stays and never goes. I look at people on the street. They look lost, wondering where the hell did the world go wrong. Yet we allow thousands of men to be bullies, thinking that they're the boss. Well, we need to be strong. To make a difference, we need to be the difference. But we are a family. We go away and do our time and come back again. Because every father deserves a daughter. Because every father deserves a daughter. People say that you forgive. But at the end of the day, this is the life that many people live. Please take a split second to think. Just sit, listen, and think. Think about why you're here right now, sitting in rows upon rows found with cotton and nylon while you hear a 12 year old speak to you about thinking. <laughs> Does it insult you? Me? A 12 year old born on April 22nd in 2001 speaking to you about thinking. Because I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know your stories. And for you to listen to me could be the biggest mistake of your life by society standards. <laughs> but that's what our leaders say. It's as if the broken minds and smashed hearts could be pushed aside and replaced with no new taxes or a new pound coin. It's the same thing overseas. We rape, beat, kill, pillage and steal, but Mr. Leader thinks he's high here. Nations are fired up for war like uni students for a rave. Just like them, we put, we put up our hands and vote obliviously how we've just behaved. 
but unknowingly in our blind hatred for one another, we've just sentenced little Fatima to her death. The gunshot sounds cover the sound of her last breath. The hypocrisy has multiple manifests. We make the natives leave so that they are migrants. We speak like saviors, but we are the tyrants. <laughs> It's not true that war's good for nothing. It's just it's not necessarily good for good things. It's good for killing, breaking dreams, good for hearing and raking screams, good for travelling to the east, for hypocritically fighting for peace. It's good for breaking buildings, breaking hearts, shattering windows and body parts. And actually, one of war's positive abilities is that every day more people see its futility. Yeah.